All right, here we go, everybody. So this is Aria Story 2.0, as in like the 2.0 update. This came out a while ago. It adds some new things to the game. I originally played this literally years ago, and I remember very little about it. So either way, I think it was worth returning to play through this again. People seemed interested when I kept talking about it. Let's give it a go. Okay. I finished reading the book. What'd you think about it? I loved it. Your books are always my favorites. Is that so? I'm glad to hear that. But one day, you should write a happy ending. Happy endings aren't my specialty. How do you know? You never tried to write one, hmm? Oh. Hmm? I'll help you write a happy ending. Uh, Arya, thank you, but you suck at writing stories. <laughs> That's rude. Eh? That's very rude. Oh, it's getting late. I should get going. It's true, you should go home before it gets dark. See you tomorrow. Oh yeah, I, d I got the new version, don't worry. See ya. Super rude. And that's a bunny! Finally here. I love the tranquil atmosphere the library gives off. It's far from the town, but it's worth the visit. What book should I read today? I've already read most of these books since I come here every day. Okay, maybe I can turn it up a little bit. Bunnies are nice. Confirmed. Hang on a second. Okay, there we go. Turn it up slightly. I don't know how loud the game can get. Unless we get to jump scares. Introduce... Oh, wait, what? Introduce the password to access the additional content of the game. What? What is this? <laughs> I, I wasn't told anything about this. Password will be revealed upon attaining the true ending or good ending. All right. Well, that solves that. The library was built in the middle of a forest, so cute bunnies come in sometimes. Oh, that's so cute. Items. Okay. Hey, Arya, I just finished reading that book you recommended. The ending's so great, it was so... So, well, you know what I mean. Hmm. Is there a run button here? Hang on. Okay, it's shift. Hang on a second. I don't think I binded shift to the controller. Let me see here. Of course I didn't. Hang on. Um. Let me just... Yeah, here we go. And there we go. I wish everything just worked with the controller by default, but whatever. There, now I can run. Good afternoon, Arya. May I help you with something? Could you recommend me a book? I don't know what to read. Let me think. Yesterday, a new set of books came in, and I put them in the bookshelf near the tree. You might find something interesting if you take a look. Thank you very much, Mr. Librarian. Ooh. This is a small but very well-kept library. I enjoy being surrounded by nature. Chat, would you go to a library if bunnies could wander around? I totally would. Books allow me to travel to different places and discover new worlds. Isn't it wonderful? Those who are lost in the forest will encounter a monster who will rip out one's intestines, play with them, and when finished, throw them at one's face. Have you been reading a horror book? I don't think they're very appropriate for your age. Hehe, <laughs> this kid knows a lot of cool things. Good for them. Good for them. Bunnies and books sound so wholesome. Uh, what about you? Dot dot dot. Oh, hey, Arya, I'm looking for a book about Japanese mythology, but I can't find one. If I remember correctly, there should be some books about that on the floor above us. Thank you so much, Arya. Excellent. I'm not very interested in reading books, but I like coming here to play with the rabbits. Aw, oh, who doesn't? Bunny! It's so cute. I love the fact they decided not to cut down the tree when they were building this place. All these books were written by someone with an interesting imagination. Don't you think the human mind is amazing? Yeah, it's alright. I think it's really cool. You think so? Glad to hear it. 
As a doctor that studies the human mind, it is truly interesting to see what the mind is capable of doing. Funny. Um, he said something about books. But over... Can't go over here. There's a book with the three hangman nooses on the cover. The Hanging Flowers. The ending of this book is really depressing. There's some philosophy books. Okay. Seems like the bookshelf that Mr. Librarian referred to. There's books here I've never seen before. Hmm, which one should I read? Oh, how strange. This book doesn't have a title. It's decided. I'll read this book. I'll go sit down in my favorite place to read it. What could possibly go wrong when you do that? Bunny's just running around. It's probably not... The best idea, but who cares? It's wholesome. Huh? Suddenly I feel so... strange. I... It's not working out for her, apparently. I'm gonna turn the volume up a little more. Dot, dot, dot. Ah, everything is dark. Don't tell me I fell asleep while reading. I should go home. Mom will definitely be angry at me for coming home late. Now isn't the time to read. It's always the time to read. What about the bunnies? There's no one here. Maybe they all went home already. Nobody had the decency to wake me up. Tomorrow they'll be hearing from me. The library at night is pretty creepy. I'm sure libraries at night are very creepy. Did it always look like this? Book fell off. Now isn't the time to read. <gasps> look at that bunny picture. Has this poster always been like this? I thought it was cuter before. Does this poster always look... Okay. Oh no, it's locked. Maybe the librarian locked it when he left. Maybe he keeps an extra key somewhere in the library. Okay, then. Let's move up and around over here. There's something under the table. You've obtained library key. Great, now, ca now I can leave. I'm sure we'll just go and leave and nothing bad will happen. <gasps> There's no scary bunny. Poster changed. No, no, it must be my imagination. Use the library key? Sure. Huh? The key doesn't fit. Where's the key go? There aren't any other doors. I have to find a way out of here. Play with me, Arya. No thank you, scary bunny friend. Is there anything up and around over here? Doesn't look like it. Oh. Seems like there's something hidden behind this bookshelf. Should I move it? Yeah, sure. What's the worst that could happen? Except everything. Weird. The bookshelf doesn't weigh much despite being full of books. A secret door. Use the library key. Where else am I going to use it? It looks like someone broke the glass and took whatever was inside. Alright then. Door is closed. <laughs> who's who's making noises? Huh? Is there someone behind the door? Can you open the door? I fell asleep reading a book and now the library's closed. Of course. But I can only open it if you say the password. Password? I don't know any password. How unfortunate. Only those who know the password are worthy of going through. Not everyone is worthy of going through this door. Come back once you know the password. Okay. Looks like someone broke the glass. I guess we gotta look around for something to solve this problem. Hang on, I'm gonna turn the volume up for myself. You're tapping in the window. The book is open now, but I think I just heard tapping. There's something written in this book. 
I will cease to exist once you say my name. Maybe this is related to the password. All right, let's go see. Hey, I said, hey, did chat, did you just see that bunny ghost? That's spooky. You are very stubborn, but I'm not complaining. It would be quite a boring story if it ended right after it started, right? Do you believe you're prepared to pass through this door? Heck yeah. Tell me, what is the password? Don't say anything. That is correct. Silence is the most beautiful sound in the library. And when you say this word, it loses its meaning. Not everyone is capable of understanding it, but I see that you are prepared to continue. Though I already knew it from the beginning, after all, this door was created especially for you. Go ahead, Arya. I've been waiting for you. Opening the door. This is spooky. Creepy. Where am I? It looks like this place is floating in the middle of nowhere. Where is that person who was behind the door? Make saves. There we go. So, I don't exactly remember where, like, the endings, like, uh, split apart here. So, you have to let me know that later on. Okay, just checking my buttons. Can advance. There are many science fiction books. Many science fiction books. Many horror books. Oh, I know this book. Romeo and Juliet. This shouldn't be here. Take it. There are many adventure books. Many tragedy books. Okay. Place Romeo and Juliet. Now it's in the right bookshelf. A million thanks, miss. I felt out of place on that bookshelf. Ah. The, the book spoke? There's like five endings now? Okay. Is there something wrong, miss? Well, usually books can't speak. I hope you don't mind me asking, but do you know where I am? Right now you're in the hallway that connects the two libraries. In fact, you're the first human to go through this door. Is it possible that you are Arya, miss? Yes, that's my name. I see. Thanks to you, I have returned to my rightful place and all the books are in harmony. Let us thank you. Everything is ready, Miss Arya. Alright, so all I really want to know for endings is, um... If everything will be the same, or if, if, like, I can just save it like the last chapter and get all of them or something. We've created a stairway so that you may pass, but proceed with caution and try not to fail. Do not worry about stepping on us. We are much stronger than we look. Oh, thank you. Be careful. I will pray you do not end up like the protagonist of my story. The young girl with rosy eyes was bewildered upon the sight of the room she had entered. Uh. Surprised to hear a familiar voice. You're the girl that was behind the door. She identified the girl, shrouded in mystery before her. You must be Arya. Pleased to meet you. My name is Narrator. It is my duty to narrate what happens to you. Narrate what happens to me? Why do you need to do that? Because I'm a narrator. Is that not obvious? Hmm. The confused, rosy-eyed girl could not comprehend what was happening. Perhaps you could pass through this door. It may quell your doubts for the time being. Though you are not obligated to do so, you can stay here and find a way to return to your own world. What would the protagonist of such a tale as this decide to do? Would they advance or stay put? Uh, I'll advance. I see. In that case, I will only ask one favor of you. A favor. Please do not die too early in your story. It would make quite a boring story if it ends right before it even began. Please don't die. Alright, I can do that. Go ahead. Go ahead. Cup of tea. 
Go ahead. If I talk to you like a thousand times. Chapter one, comedy. Everybody laugh. The young girl takes her first few steps inside the library, quiet and careful steps, but full of curiosity nonetheless. Ah. Your decision to come here pleases me, but in reality, you did not have much of a choice. The library is much bigger than anything you will find in your world. I'm sure that you have never seen a library like this before. Well, you will soon understand what I mean. Oh, I almost forgot to mention something. At this very moment, you are in the comedy section of the library. In addition to comedy books, you can find books on hobbies and general entertainment here. <laughs> it is, of course, the best place to have fun times. So enjoy your stay for however long it may last. Or I may last. All right, enjoy your stay. All right. There's a save here. Nothing's changed, so let's make a save again here. Welcome to the comedy world, the funniest place in all the library. Well, that's what I'd like to say. How disgraceful. I finally get the chance to welcome someone here and I can't even do it properly. Is there something wrong? I'm tasked with welcoming visitors here with a show, but I can't find my juggling balls. Oh, what a disgrace I am. You know how to juggle? Oh yes, it's my specialty. No one knows how to juggle with such incredible ease like I do. A book that knows how to juggle. That sounds amazing, I'd love to see that. Well, if you really want to see me juggle, you need to find my juggling balls first. All right then. So, you ever see that meme where it's like Mario with his arms crossed and he's like, you have just now entered the comedy zone. That's what we need right here. Anything here? Clown doll. You get the feeling this thing could move at any second. Listen, if there are clowns or some sort of effigy, effigy of a clown, then it's probably going to move and try and kill me. That's just the law of fiction. The doll is concentrating hard to read the book. You ever read a story about a clown who's just trying to get through life? No, because clowns are always villains. That's how it works. Small decorated box. Small decorated box. Out here, doors locked. You gotta make a thousand saves every time you enter a room. Y'all is concentrating. So yeah, I know some things have been changed aside from the additional content, of course. But um, again, I have not played this game in years, and I remember very little about it. You see your own reflection in the mirror. You see your own reflection in the mirror. See your own reflection. You see your own reflection. No, I don't. Ah. I'm headless in that one. This mirror looks like you could go through it. Why not? All right, you're looking at a guide, yo-yo? Okay, so you're on standby to help me out then. Also, let me know if I get near-ending stuff. Tombstone with a small pedestal. For now, chat, we're just going to get cozy, and we're going to enjoy a spooky game. If you have a pet or a Moomin plush, now's the time to get one. See, I got one right here. He's he's on standby. I'd hold I'd hold him up for you all to see, but you can't see it. But he's here. So I can't seem to do anything here. I got no items. Got a bunny sitting with you. Well, that's wholesome. Hold up. Did something just happen? I was looking away. I think something was in the mirror when I opened the door. Clown doll, you get the feeling it could move. Hello? Do you like music? Well, I'm a book filled with music sheets. Here In here, you can read while listening to classical music. Unfortunately, the instruments here don't listen to me and refuse to play. I wonder why. The harp is covered in dust. Open me only when music returns. 
There are many books here. Many music books. Violin is covered in dust. Dust. Do you want to play the piano? Yeah. Oh. I played one note. That's playing the piano, all right. There's a clown up there. Don't trust it. Yeah, instruments refuse to play. Why is that? I don't have any items. Now see, that's just rude. Mario was right. We did enter the, the comedy area. But it was like the, the piano from Boo's Mansion. Hmm. Looks to you that everything is mostly normal for the game until you're close to the end, so no need to worry. The doll is concentrating hard. So... Let's figure this out. So I shouldn't play the music. If I, if I play a note, will that box open? I'm not really sure. Let me go back for now. Try this door. Maybe I find some items here. There's a book titled Information on Comedy Books. Comedy books are known for wanting to have fun. They tend to prioritize, prioritize fun before anything else and can be egotistical. Even then, they want others to have fun as well. They love to entertain, tell jokes, and do anything fun. Their entertaining presence is contagious. Even bookshelves themselves like to have fun. Alright. Called the Book of Surprises. Open. There's a key inside the book. Comedy key. I don't know why. I... Whatever. I died. I got surprised! Bookshelf dead. I am dead. Alright, let's go back in here. I just gotta get the key. Book of Surprises. You've obtained the comedy key. Many comedy books on the shelf. How about back here? Can I open this? No, I can't. Was there something that was even locked for me? I don't recall. It's over here? Door is locked. Use comedy key. Alright, let's save, because it's going to be one of those games where everything kills us, because it's funny. Sorry, I only talk to fun people. That's okay, I have the same rule. Clown doll, you get the feeling that this thing could move at any second. Move. Hello, clown. This has no class. What's up with that book? This is a joke. This is the last time- er, that's the last time I'll waste my money on this. All the prizes are useless anyways. There's a book titled Lucky Numbers. Numbers can be associated with a meaning or value. For example, in some cultures, the number four is considered to be unlucky because it sounds similar to the word death in their language. On the other hand, in other cultures, the number 13 is considered bad luck. Numbers associated with luck are 2, 7, and 8. Numbers can be very interesting. I love chess. It's my favorite game. Dead game. It hasn't been updated in like an eternity. Oh, I'm so angry. I never get good prizes. What do you think I should do with this carrot now? I don't even have a mouth. I can't eat it. You know what? Here. Keep it. I got a carrot. I can feed a bunny chat. I'm a magician. Do you want me to show you one of my tricks? Hang on. I'll save before I let you show me anything. I know how this works. I know how this works. Oops. I saved twice. That's right, we can feed a bunny with a carrot. Bunnies are wholesome creatures, and I kind of wish I had a pet bunny. But I don't. I'm a magician. Yes, open me. I'll make the thing written on that page pop up. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I did just save. Let's see what happens when I open up 13. Yeah. 
I know what the puzzle is. Y'all just wanted to see the death, though. We have to do that. There are no bunnies that need feeding right now. Seven. Seven is a lucky number. Ah. Oh, sorry, it landed on your head. You're lucky, it's a bouquet of flowers, you know. Sorry for the inconvenience. You can keep it if you wish. I should probably polish up my magic tricks. Bouquet of flowers. I got myself a balloon. If only I had hands. Poor creature. Look, I got myself a candy. Let's hope I, let's hope I get to eat it. Prizes, prizes for everyone. With only one coin, you can obtain a marvelous prize. Drop a coin in the machine right there. What will you get? Prizes, a prize for you and you. Insert coin, show ball to clown, receive spectacular prize. Okay. Hmm. What are you doing there, friend? Clown doll. Methinks there's something a little shady about that clown doll. I once went on stage and the crowd started throwing tomatoes. That's no mean of them. I really want to see the next performance. Hope it'll be fun. One day I'll get to be on stage. One day. A human has stepped foot on stage. Oh, this show is already showing a lot of promise. Joe? Silence. Show's about to start. No, no, I'm not about to. Oh, I really want to see what happens. What should I do? Tell a joke. I'm not so good at this. Oh, I remember a joke my father told me once. This might work. Why is the math book always unhappy? Because it has lots of problems. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Did you hear that? That was god-awful. So bad, I can't stop laughing. St can't stop laughing. Ha ha ha. It's been so long since I laughed this hard. Oh ho ho. Amazing. Brilliant. Thanks, I guess. Okay. What'd that do? Didn't kill me. You were incredible. I never knew humans could be so entertaining. Haha, <laughs> can't stop laughing, haha. <laughs> that gave me a whole lot of nothing. Okay, flowers. Alright then. Clown doll, you get the feeling it can move. I think I need to use the flowers at the gravestone. I was just now trying to think of what that was for. Alright. So I guess if everything, if all the endings are, you know, at towards the end, or rather the choices that affect it, then I guess I'll make a big save for the last part of the game for that, huh? Okay, flowers. Sure. Perfect. Hello? Okay, flowers decorated with a tiny ribbon. Bunny! Bunny is playing with something shiny. I think we found our little friend. Um, get closer. Ouch, it bit me. Now that is not good. Bunny should not bite. Do you want to give him the carrot? The bunny stopped playing with the shiny object. Paint a silver coin. Post a diorama. I'm not sure what you mean. What do you mean there, yo-yo? Hang on. Bunny's eating the carrot. Goodbye, little friend. I thought this was covered in blood for a second. Then I remembered the... No, no, the flowers are just darker red. <gasps> the mirror has been stained with blood. What do you think about mirrors? Hmm? A shame they can only reflect the outside. What is inside is what truly matters. With that in mind, I do not believe a mirror could ever reflect who you truly are. Whoa. True bravery is not something others can see. She listened to each word the mysterious lady uttered with great attention. You see, what I mean to say is that you should never judge a book by its cover. A wonderful book could just be waiting for you behind a boring cover. 
That is just something I wish more humans would understand. Don't tell me. I'll look. I'll read whatever books I want. There was a bunny in that mirror. It has a cool cover. And it's probably a cool book. Small clown popped out of the box. Clown doll. You get the feeling it could move. All right then. Silver coin. I guess I get a prize from the clown now. The flowers were covered in blood? Maybe it's because you guys can, are seeing a bigger uh, game window <laughs> than me, but I guess I couldn't make out the detail. Insert coin? Yeah, sure. You got a prize. Number four. Oh, that's good. This is what I got. Let me see. You got number four. Ooh, sorry. This number doesn't get rewarded. I'll give you this paper as a consolation sp er, consolation prize. Music sheet. I know what to do with that. The creator posted a pic of where the endings start and converge or split off. Okay. Oh, there's blood on this now. Doll's concentrating hard to read. Um, maybe I can look that later. L or look at that later. I can't talk. Ruining a book like that is something disgraceful. Make save. People shouldn't judge books by their covers. Why do authors commission different covers for their books? Because you want it to stand out. It's like a thumbnail on a YouTube video. That's why- do you think anybody uses the default thumbnails? That's why we don't. Give sheet music. Is this sheet music yours? Let me see. Yes, this is one of my music sheets. How could I lose a, lose a page? Thank you. Oh. The instruments started playing a song. Can't believe it. They're playing. I see. They refused to play because one of my sheets was missing. Thank you. I have nothing of value to give you, but I hope this is useful to you. Green ball on the floor. Okay. Open the box. Key inside. You got a small key. Alright, now let's leave without dying. I just got the game from its itch.io page. That's where all the different versions are. Used for juggling. I'm pretty sure I need more than one ball for that guy. He can't juggle with just one. Now, where on earth did I need a small key? Now, let's look over here. Clown doll. I try... This was just the stage. I don't think there's anything else here. I don't think I got anything for doing that. Unless something appeared and I didn't see it. No. Doesn't look like it. Um... I guess I'll go give the guy the ball, but I'm not remembering where there's another locked door. I'm sure I'll find it. Hang on. Is there a significance of which one of these opened? Not sure. I guess we'll figure it out as we go along. Remember, chat, we're in the comedy zone. All of you laugh. Laugh, darn you. You'll need to find the balls first. Okay. Yeah, he don't care. Now, going in here... Um... I need to go past there. What happens if I go back? Nope, nothing. Hang on, let me save again. Does it, like, go away? Like, the death, I guess? Because I'm not sure where else to use this key. No, it didn't work. I don't know why I thought it would, but I wanted to try. Game over. Keep reading. Load your save. Um... Let's see, if I go back this way... There wasn't anything in here, right? See your own reflection. 
You run reflection. There was nothing to open back here. No, there's no blood on the flowers. I don't know what you meant. Bunny is eating a carrot. A bunny can stay there. Can't use that. Small key with a red ribbon. Where do I use that? I feel like I must have walked right by it a few times, but... Clown doll. There are many comedy books. Anything I missed here? A book like... Ruining a book like that is something disgraceful. Hang on, let me go back in here for a second. There wasn't like a, a door on the back wall I missed. Piano is playing the song. Thanks a lot. Any music books? No. There's a clown up there. See the point of that. I went through here, yeah. Wait, 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 hang on a second. This guy is still blocking this door. Was he just not in front of the door a second ago? Must be for this door, but I don't know how to move him. Heard you went up on stage and told a cool joke. Oh, this is new. I see you got a humorous side to you. You want to play a fun game? Somewhere I hit a red ball. Go find it. You want a clue? It's behind a bookshelf. Oh, wait. We're in a library. There's bound to be a lot of them. Guess my clue is useless. Alright, so that's behind the, the death trap. That's one thing. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of lost right now if you want to help out. <laughs> I'm not sure where to go. Maybe now I can go past the bookshelf? I'm not really sure. Well, yeah, now there's something over there. It's probably going to be safe now. Book of surprises. Red ball on the floor. Take it. The doll grins sinisterly. Sometimes the longest road is the right one to pick. Oh, that's what it meant. Go around them. All right, Mr. Funny. Mr. Funny comedy books. Okay. It has to actually be the longest one on the right side. I thought either one either one of them would have counted. Okay then. Whatever, it's fine. There, safe. Absolutely safe. So now I need to find out what did this change? Or picking up the red ball. Or, hang on. Are two enough for him? I should check. I'd really like to. All right, maybe that clown has moved out of the way now. Let's try that. Our beloved protagonist curiously and carefully looked at every detail of the world she, she was contained in. <laughs> Are you having fun? I'm sure you've recognized the charm of this library. Yeah, the books here can talk and move. Precisely. The library is home of books, and in this case, literally, that is why they can talk and move. But why am I trapped here? How did I get back to my world? She asked the girl with golden eyes questions she did not need to ask. Are you trying to end the story before it begins? What a problematic character. Even then, if I give you an answer, it would not be helpful. It would be much more interesting if you find the answers yourself. Oh, yeah, you're, yeah you want to tell me about what's helpful. You're not helpful at all. Freedom. I want freedom. Help me. 
I don't trust you. Never help anybody in these games without saving first. Always save before you do anything. And help and you're gonna kill me, right? You really want to help me? Oh, thanks so much. For trading places with me. Uh, there it is. No, I was just trying to... Uh... Thanks. Oh. That was mean. Why'd he do that? Why would, why would anybody be rude like that? Doors closed. Hang on, that has a ribbon on the cage. Maybe it's for this. Now you're free. This is freedom? Thank you. What was literally the difference before? Was the thing even locked? Okay. Weird. And now we save again. Um, which door will you choose? You may only pick one. Uh, if you choose the one on the left, you'll be in for an interesting surprise. Okay, then. Oh, give me a break. Everything is backwards, I noticed. I kind of want to save again. I, I just saved. I thought the last save I did was further back. Saving don't even register to me anymore. What's in the left one, then? Do you want to open this door? Say... You want to open the armoire? Sure. You've obtained a blue ball. You combine the red, green, and blue balls together. You've obtained a juggling set. So when he said interesting surprise, was he talking about the right side because he said left? He said backwards, not opposite. Hang on, I want to see what happens when I pick the wrong one. That's a tiger. That's a tiger. That was not Moominous. Hey chat, you think this library has Moomin books anywhere? Like a collection of Moomin comics? What am I talking to him for? I know how this goes. I would love a book of Moomin comics. Alright, now let's give the lad what he wants. Go all the way back. I don't think there's anything else I need to get. Narrator's gone. You found it? Nice. Keep it if you want. I don't need it. Clown doll. You get the feeling it could move. Cup of tea. Now we leave. And that's trying to jump scare me, but it doesn't work. Why is that open? The door's ajar. Um, oh. Have you ever read a book while listening to music? It can make a scene much more emotional, but can also be difficult to concentrate on the book. Alright. When we add music to stories, uh, they're usually not, like, in book format anymore. I don't think I can pet the tiger, no. Would we like to see me perform? There you go. You found them? Oh, thank you. Let the show begin. Hurry, everybody. We're going to see him juggle. Wow, you're incredible. You have a lot of talent, you know. Thank you, Arya. You know my name? Of course, every book here knows you. You're really popular. But now you need to get moving. The show must go on. 
All right. How is the book doing that? That's where you draw the line on realism? Not at the fact the book is talking? That girl. She can't be. But what is she doing here? Now I see. Then I don't have a choice. Arya. I will find you, and I will kill you. That's a promise. He's gonna kill me. Don't worry, I'm sure this library will do a fine job. Arya is still in the first section of the library, but she is advancing quite quickly despite the obstacles. How is she? Confused and somewhat scared, but I think she doesn't hate this place. I see. <laughs> Thank you for keeping me informed. Since I'm helping you, I'd like to know why I'm doing this. It's only fair, don't you think? I'd rather keep some things secret. I could stop helping you if I wanted to, you know. Eh, don't do that. I need your help. I asked you because you're the person I trust the most. Compliments won't get you anywhere. You better tell me the truth sooner or later. Or else. I'll keep that threat in mind. By the way, who's that girl? Arya? Oh, she's a special person. I asked who she is, not what you think of her. She's a bookworm. I already knew that. Aww. You're trying to avoid my question. <laughs> Whoops, you realized. Why don't you watch over Arya yourself? I can't. I'm busy using this quill. Can't, you can't imagine how exhausting it is to use it. Alright, I'll keep helping you. To be honest with you, it's rather fun. Mm -hmm. Fun? Becoming a narrator was the best thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> it's so interesting. I just need you to tell me what Arya does and guide her through this place, though. What are you saying? That's too boring. I must become a more interesting person. And thanks to this opportunity, I'll be able to. I wouldn't mind staying in this place forever, narrating what others do. Blah, 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 narrating what others do. I should go. I have to continue narrating what the girl does. I'll see you later. These scenes are new? Okay. Either way, I don't- I, like, remember so little before about the original game. I played it, like, over two years ago, I want to say. Because of me, you're back to being the person you hated to be. I hope you can forgive me. My heart breaks whenever I see you acting like this. When all this is over, I'll give you back the memories I've taken from you. All right. There we go. I think the only thing I can remember about the old playthrough is that I mentioned that the narrator was adorable like 5,000 times. Would you like me to do that? Last from the past chat? Here, you can all join in on the fun if you want to. Alright, we've left the comedy area, so if anyone tells any more jokes, you're gonna get, um, I don't know, I'll throw my movement at you. How about that? I am doing just fine. Welcome to my humble abode. Abode. Win a wonderful prize. It's simple. All you have to do is play a little game. Let me explain the rules. I guess I have no other option. See these doors? You can enter whichever you want in any order, but when you enter them, you must solve a riddle. The answer will be something you can find in the room if you don't know the answer. Try examining the room around you. Those are the rules. Simple, ain't it? I'll be waiting for you in the rooms. Alright, let's just do them left and right then. What do we got here? I don't think I'd love to have to answer to this riddle close to me. What? Don't think I'd love to have the answer to this riddle close to me. Death? Clowns? Both are acceptable answers. Candle, chair, clock. Uh, the answer to this riddle close to me. I'm not sure what it means. Lamp. It's like, oh, the riddle was the thing in the middle? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Ugh. I was examining the book at the top. I thought because it was floating, that's the thing I had to interact with. As I grow older, I get smaller. Do you know what my name is? 
I am... Hang on. Let me look at this. I don't think I know the answer. Broom, plant, grows, tombstone. As I get older, I die. As I get older, I float over here in a book. As I get older, I become a menacing demon. Treasure chest. Candle whittles down, I guess. This better not be case sensitive. When you get older, you shrivel up in your coffin when you're buried. Correct. Good job. I thought the riddle was this thing's dialogue, so I was confused. Alright. A key. I am key. Blah, blah, blah. The key to knowledge, and I create new worlds. So find me entertaining. Other, or some find me entertaining. Others boring. What is my name? There we go. I made it through the sentence. I'd be very upset if you couldn't solve this, you know. Remember that the answer lies inside the room. Hang on, what was it again? I'm the key to knowledge, and I create new worlds. Some find me entertaining, others boring. What's my name? I am a book. I'm really tempted to just put a funny joke answer, but I can't think of anything off the top of my head. Correct. Here we are. I have many legs, but I can't keep myself up. What am I called? The clown's true form. When it spout, sprouts a bunch of spider's legs and crawls on the walls. I uh, can't keep myself up. Is it talking about the broom against the wall there? Like, the legs are the, that? Let me try that. Oh, wow, that worked. I thought that was a reach. Very well done. I should have checked him first, actually. I didn't notice the door at first. There's an Easter egg if I talk to the librarian at the start of the game multiple times. All right, well... Maybe I can show that off when I enter the password later. I can break myself into a million pieces, yet still work. But if I stop moving, so do you. Wait, what? But if I stop moving, so do you. Um... Is this some symbolic thing? Is it my heart? Pretty sure if my heart breaks into a million pieces, it will also not work. Oh, it actually was correct. Well done. I keep forgetting to check the floating book for some reason. Congrats, you solved all the riddles. Here, your prize, you earned it. Ace of Hearts. You can not only learn from books, but also have fun with them, right? Yep, that's why I love books so much. Oh, now you're making me blush. Heart can't break. It can symbolically. Like, if the narrator told me to buzz off, then yes, my heart would break into a million pieces. Inside one of these dolls hides an object, and each one of these have a sign with a direction to where that very doll hides. I wonder where the doll could be. I spent all day thinking and can't figure it out. There are two types of dolls, orange and purple, but you don't have to trust them all. In fact, one of those types of dolls likes to lie. Oh, no. Okay, so let's find one that's... Is there one that's pointing out of the circle? Is there a way for me to know that? Okay, let's start at this one. Assume he's telling the truth. Then he goes here. Then we have to assume this one's lying, which means we go up here. Assume you're telling the truth. Go here. And, uh, I don't care enough. I realize that. I don't care enough. <laughs> Better prep an answer while I work my brain right here. <laughs> Alright, we go up here, and if assuming purple's the liar, that means we go up here. And if assuming you're the liar, it means we go up here. And then it doesn't make sense, which means that orange is the liar. So, if we start here, that means we... 
go up here. Am I supposed to start from a certain position, actually? I'm not really sure. I assume I start from down here. Okay, you're a liar, so I go up here. You're also a liar, so I go up here. Then I go up here. Then you're a liar. Wait, what? No, that doesn't make any sense. I think I'm misunderstanding this puzzle. Each one of these uh, have a sign which direction where that very doll hides. Spend all day thinking. Hang on. I think I'm, I'm I'm approaching this puzzle wrong. I don't think I understand it. Uh, these two are pointing at each other. What could it mean? How about I just pick a random one? Ouch, that hurts. Ouch, that hurts. You believe you have the answer? Let me know, because I, I don't think I understand what this puzzle wants me to do. Does it want me to go, like, go and, like, follow a certain, like, path to one in, uh, to one it ends on? They pretty much just, like, I, I don't really get it. Because when I look at both of them as the truth teller or the liar, it doesn't really make sense to me. Fourth row, second down. Uh, one, two, three, four. There we go. Good. Yeah, I'm clearly just not understanding something about what this puzzle wants me to do. Alright. And I'm totally okay with moving on from it. What is this? Merry-go-round. Seems like I could probably put something small and rectangular on top of the carousel's horse. Place the Ace of Hearts. Uh, how about I make a save before I do something like that? Our beloved protagonist cautiously continued to explore the mysterious library. She wanted to uncover the truth, but it was not an easy task. How will our story end? It is uncertain as of yet, so we must sit back and watch how the story unfolds. I have come to give you a little gift. You obtain Ace of Spades. A card? I'm sure you'll find it more useful than it looks. I'm sure this is the first time you've seen a carousel in the library, correct? Alright. Make more saves. Um, how do I know which one wants which card? Oh, hang on. Uh, spade and club. What do I have on me? Red spade. Alright, no, no, I don't think those being displayed there has any significance. Does it matter which one goes where, then? I guess I should probably just look around. Door is locked and get the fourth one first. There's a secret passage inside of this room. Do you think you're capable of finding it? Oof, I'm capable of brute forcing a clown puzzle. That's good enough. Do you want to read this book? There's a card in one of the pages. You obtain Ace of Clubs. Teleporting clowns. I don't think I want to get too close to it. I don't know. Poke it with a stick. Preferably just stab its eyes out. Sometimes I wonder if there's, like, any professional clowns that watch, like, YouTube and Twitch on their downtime. And they just hate how everybody just makes fun of clowns these days. I wonder what their take was on that one year where clowns were just out at- going out at night. <laughs> scaring people. Hang on, I have all the- I have all these, what am I doing? Oh. I don't think it matters which one I- where I put them, does it? Oh. Ouch, that hurts. I guess it doesn't go here. Hang on. Uh, all the carousels are red. Hang on. First one was heart. Is this in order? Yep. Heart. Spade. Okay, there we go. Heart. Spade. Diamond. Club.
Oh, wait, what? All right, well, whatever. I don't get really punished. You think about that every time someone says something mean about clowns? Well, I don't know. The drawings of the of a clock and card suits. I wonder if it means something. Wait, clock? Oh, there was significance to that. Whatever, it don't matter. That's a teddy bear. Oh, now I'm leaving the comedy zone. Chapter two, fairy tales. You see that moment? We're gonna go to a magical world. Here, let me put the Moomin back down. I held him up, but you can't see him. Hey, you trying to threaten me with that? Soldier whose toy leg, or toys, blah, blah, blah. Whose leg is missing, he has a toy gun. Isn't that the same, like, sprite from the witch's house? An owl, there's something in its beak. This is for me. You received an invitation. Thank you. Aw, owls are wholesome. You are formally invited to a party on the third floor. We look forward to meeting you. Fairy tales are cool, chat. Do you like fairy tales? More so, I like spooky takes on fairy tales. And... hello. She wanted to escape from the mysterious library, but it was not an easy task. Did you know that many fairy tales deal with dark subjects? I find them very interesting. Sorry, I do not wish to distract you with idle conversation. I'm sure you're busy. What is wrong? Can I ask you something? Of course. Is this the first time you've narrated what happens to someone? Mm hmm? You waiting for an answer? I said you could ask, but I never said I would answer. Oh, that's unfair. The silence disappointed her. Instead, she decided to continue exploring. Alright. A very much an actually thing. It reminds me of a thing. Hang on one second. Four fairies. Once upon a time, there were four sisters who were born under a curse. For nine months of the year, they would be in a deep sleep, and they could only wake during the remaining three months. Tulip, a friendly and sweet fairy, woke up at the beginning of spring and slept when it was over. The most cheerful fairy, Sunflower, woke up during the hot summer. Aster, calm and kind, opened her eyes with autumn when autumn came. Snowdrop, the most reserved and serious of the four sisters, woke up during the cold winters. The years passed, and they died without ever knowing each other. Oh, that's sad. I like the aesthetic of this game a lot. Yeah, her her little text there reminded me of a thing I was watching the other day. Um, I was watching a video about, like, this, um... About, like, this sitcom that was made... It was, like, based on a movie, Blazing Saddles, back in, like, the 70s and 80s, and apparently, it, it's there's kind of a funny story associated with it, where, um, the guy who was making it didn't want the studio to squeeze out a bad sequel, so he made a deal, he, he made a contract with the studio where they weren't allowed to make a sequel unless they first produced a television series, because he knew the television series would suck and it would make them, scare them away from making a sequel. So what the studio did was they they paid and produced a TV series based on the movie, but they didn't air it. Like, because the contract said they didn't have to air it. So they spent a bunch of money, produced four seasons of a show with no intention of airing it, just so they could have the rights, the legal rights to make a sequel to that movie. And I think they never even bothered doing that. It's a really funny story. I was watching a video about it last night. I, I suggest looking it up. Yeah, it was Mel Brooks, the guy who made the movie, uh, behind the movie. Why four seasons? They needed to have to have something tangible to hold up in court, I guess, so they could just say, yeah, see, we made a TV show. This is a TV show. It's hilarious. It's one of those, like, lost media things. Anyways, I just wanted to stop and say that because I thought it was cool. Play. Let's play rock, paper, scissors. One, two, three, scissors. I use paper, that means you win. When I play with other books, it's always a draw. I'd like to win someday. I don't think this is the most appropriate game for a book. I guess you're right. Let's play again on another occasion. I'll think of a different game. Okay. I think, like, technically, only the pilot of it ever aired. 
just so they could technically say they aired it, but they, they have, there's just like four seasons of a show that they put like no effort into, and it's just sitting in a vault somewhere. It's really hilarious, and I love stories like that. Okay. And let's go over here. Pretty and elegant doll. Pretty and elegant doll. Let me guess, the doll is pretty and elegant. What about this? The food looks delicious, but it's fake. Oh, come on. Can't go over there. Can I? Oh, that's a carpet. I thought that was part of the couch for some reason. What do we have here? Large mansion toy set. Oh, we opened it up and there's probably like Resident Evil action figures inside. That'd be pretty sick. Hmm. You know, I always thought that like if I ever get back into drawing, I was thinking of like trying to get some action figures or something and use them as like reference. Because I've seen that's a thing some people do. Like some people like make 3D models of scenes and then try and sketch from that. But other people like they just take like figurines and models and stuff and pose them. Just they, if, if they want to get like a certain shot. Thought that'd be kind of cool to try. But I don't have like the room for that stuff. Um, What's in here? Almost bought a Leon figure, and I regret not doing so. Well, I don't know where to get that. There's a book called Goldilocks and the Three Bears, written by Robert Southley. Alright. Nothing here. This bed is just right. Look at- chat, look at that bear-shaped wardrobe. Is that not the most wholesome, adorable thing ever? There's probably, like, a skeleton in there, in the context of this game, but it's adorable, isn't it? A silly monkey toy. If it does that again, it's gonna be a knocked-over monkey toy. Let's play again on another occasion. What do I have? Just the invitation. Okay... Let me look around a bit more here. There were the first. Uh, these were the first books I read when I was little. My love for books has started thanks to them. Any fairy tales in the bookshelf? Why won't you move? The silence disappointed her. Instead, she decided to continue exploring. All right, she's not going to say anything different. Hmm. We all want a bear-shaped wardrobe now wholesome. Hang on, let me go back to looking around here. I'm sure I missed something. I can't seem to check these, anything in this room. Um, there's a bowl of soup on the table. It looks delicious. A drink. It seems too cold. Seems too hot. Now I sleep in the right bed, now that I've had the soup, I guess? What called Goldilocks? Alright, so... I've eaten the soup. When I leave this room, I'm gonna get mauled to death by bears. Doorknob is gone. Oh, there's something written on the door. If Goldilocks had been more careful, the blank would never have found her. The bears got me, chat. Bears. Hmm. I died. Alright, so how do I be careful? Small teddy bear. Can I pick up the bear? It seems too cold. Elegant red chair. Oh. I didn't realize I could interact with these chairs like this. Seems comfortable. Do I have to, like, do this in order or something? Hang on. Alright, there's the right. Alright, I can't do that. Okay, I don't know what to do. Oh, the bears are gone. Alright, well, clearly I need to look around some more. Doorknob is gone. Bears murdered me. What else is new? I 
check over here. This was the doll room. Did I find anything here? Yeah, I'm kind of at a loss as what I'm looking for at the moment. If walkthrough crew wants to tell me anything. I checked this room, but didn't see anything. Seems the same. Was there an extra thing I could enter on the right side? Let me try. Hang on, did I... This was the door? Okay, I've not been in here. There's a note on the floor. Take it. Do you want to read it? Quill, glasses, bookmark. Okay. Ribbon, magnifying, glass, um, ink. Alright. Toy box full of toys. Have you come here to play a game? We could play chess or musical chairs. Sorry, didn't come to play. Let's play hide and seek. You listening to me? I'm gonna hide in a place in this room and you have to find me. Okay, close your eyes. Gonna hide. 14. Oh god, we gotta find him. Bookshelf. Bookshelf. Oh, where'd he go? I did not find him. You weren't able to find me. Guess my hiding place was too perfect. Thank you for playing with me. Alright then. I love chess. But we're not playing chess. I guess I gotta find the book. Let's try again. Oh, he doesn't care. What if I leave the room? That doll wasn't there before. I'm lost. I want to go home. Can you help me? Thank you. My name is Dolly. And Dolly has joined the party. Let's go over here. And take the doll back to the doll room. Is this doll pretty and elegant enough? Where do I put it? Oh. I guess it doesn't matter. Um... This is my house. Thank you. Take this. You've obtained tree key. Why'd the music fade out? Okay, it was just restarting. Alright. Shape that reminds you of a tree. I thought, like, something spooky was gonna happen when I un- er, bleh, Exit out of the menu. Let me go save again now that I've done something. Excellent, chat. Excellent. Um... Check the crayons. Fairy tales. We've read that before. I'm not sure what it- it means silence disappointed her. Of course, you're just gonna sit there and be in my way. Let's play again. Um, back in here, anything? Really fun. No, he doesn't want to play hide and seek anymore. Box of toys. I have a key, a tree key. Door is locked. All right, I guess that opens that now. Oh, the seasons, okay. The vase is empty. There's an aster inside the vase. Oh, the, the, based on the names. Can't place anything here. Hang on. Sunflower. Alright. Empty. Uh, hang on, aster was fall, right? There we go. Door is locked. No one has appeared. Help the others. I'm assuming something must have changed outside the door now. Hello, friend. Welcome to the stream. Alright. I gotta say, this game is pretty calm and soothing. Improving my mood by quite a bit, I'd say. And what do we get up here? Help the others, and where are the others? I don't think there's anything else I do here. Can I go back in here for anything? Bears are still around. Oh, hang on. Tulip inside. 
All right, bears, I'm gonna need you to not... Uh-oh. The bears got me, all right. I cannot steal the tulips from the bears room. Hang on, what did the notes say again? Writing quill, glasses, bookmark, ribbon, magnifying glass, ink. What does that mean? I haven't like seen that stuff around. I guess the, oh wait, what? She's gone? Move the chair. Just supposed to know she's gone, I guess. New scene. And those are all the relevant things that have happened until now. Hmm. I see, thanks for your help. Is everything all right? You don't look too good. I've already told you that using this quill is extremely exhausting. I feel that it's taking away all my energy. I have to control too many things at once. Why are you doing all this? I need my plan to be a success. This is the only way to make sure it works. Is the plan related to Arya? Yes. What is your plan? You haven't told me yet. I can't tell you yet. At least tell me one thing. Are we doing something bad? Am I contributing to an evil plan or something like that? I don't want to be manipulated. Aww. Do you really think I'd do something like that? I can assure you we aren't the villains of this story. We're changing this story. For good. I don't understand what you mean, but... I'll keep helping you. I still can't believe you have that object in your possession. The quill? It's a secret that my family has maintained for generations. Right now, I'm the one responsible for protecting it. Aren't you doing the complete opposite? <laughs> You're right, but sometimes you need to break the rules for the sake of others. If you say so. Well, I must leave. I'll see you later. There goes a friend. Arya. I can't wait to see you again. I'm gonna fix my mistake. Please, Arya, reach the end of this story. Okay, now where am I headed? I'm not on the third floor yet, am I? Cute Teddy. Another save. Now, what is in here? These books are children's books, but I still I still like reading them. I can't read anything. I think age doesn't matter. Everyone has the right to enjoy the books they like. Hey, there's someone down there. Do you like books? Did I scare you? Sorry, I didn't mean to. You were so focused on reading a book, you didn't notice me coming in. I thought I was the only one trapped in this place. Seeing someone else here makes me feel relieved. Yeah, but that doesn't mean I'm glad that you're also trapped. Why? Uh, why are you talking to me with such confidence? In a situation you're in, you shouldn't trust anyone. You're right, but you don't seem like a bad person. Tuh. He's running away. Wait! Did I say something wrong? You always say something wrong. Hey, that's a bear! And it's gone. Fairy tales on bookshelf. There are many fairy tales. The year. There. Let's try again. Try again. From the top. This year, Santa brought a present for all the nice books. I want to open my gift, but I don't know which one is mine. I don't want to open a gift that isn't for me. Can you help? My gift is the perfect compliment for a book like me. Uh... Something's off about this gift. Hee <laughs> hee. The gift laughed. Ah. Did I scare you? Didn't mean to, or maybe I did. I'm hungry. It's been a long time since I've eaten anything. Please don't say that while you stare at me. Hey, don't worry. I'm not interested in eating humans. Or maybe I am. Unless you want to find out, you better bring me something to eat. Don't worry, I'm not interesting. Um, hang on. My gift is the perfect compliment for a book like me. Uh, the note here. Writing quill, 
red box, okay. Magnifying glass, ink. Wait, what? Glasses, bookmark, ribbon. Ah. Uh, my gift is the perfect compliment for a book like me. I guess, I guess it's bookmark? So yeah, yellow one. There's a bookmark inside. You obtain a bookmark. Show him the bookmark. Just what I wanted. Can you put it on me? It looks really good on you. It's a very pretty bookmark. Thank you, Aria. A bookmark is the perfect accessory for a book. Hmm, there are only gift for books here, but I think you deserve one too. If you go to my secret base, you can keep the object that you like the most. I keep all my treasures there. Really? Thank you. Use this map if you don't know where my secret base is. Um... Okay. Corner of something somewhere. Hang on, can I take this? No, I can't. Many fairy tales. Nothing here. Hang on a second, was it here? That- also, did anyone notice that, um... The teddy bear is now up there. It's plotting something. The evil friend. Is... There are many fairy tales. Hang on a second. It's not here, is it? No, no, that's very different. Different room. The teddy is following. Have I explored everything on this floor yet? Door is locked. Try looking over here. I'm late. I'm late. I must hurry up or I'll be late to the party. That's a talking bunny rabbit. And that's a tortoise. They say you can run by pressing shift, but what does that mean? You think someday I'll be able to win against a rabbit in a race? That's my dream. Yeah, sure. And I'll continue my training. Only if the rabbit gets really overconfident. Rabbit shaped plant. Rabbit shaped plant. This room is pitch black. I can't see anything. Maybe I shouldn't go in. Not with that attitude. What about over here? That's a gingerbread house. Chocolate bear. Door is locked. We'll eat it open then. Hi, fellas. Toy Soldier. This is the room in the map. Uh, I think this is the book secret base. There's a bunch of stuff on the floor. Chat, I, I've said this before, but I wish I had my own secret room somewhere. That'd be awesome. Is that me? There are many things on the floor. Many things on the floor. Many things. Oh! It looks real, but it's fake. Oh, I see. I have to swap them out at the bear. At the bear's place. Many things on the floor. Alright, looks like nothing else can be examined here. What would I put in my secret room? I don't know. Probably just like a couch. Oh, hang on. I didn't, I didn't read what she said there. Her dad used to read her books or something. like couch, TV, just little video games, just a secret place where I can play things in peace. Are you the owl from before? It's great to see you again. Moomins, of course. I would put Moomins there. Hey, there's a bear right there. That bear was trying to bamboozle me. Hey, there's a doll over there. That doll was trying to bamboozle me. What's over here? The cake paintings are very nice. Shh, I don't go to school because there's a test today, and I didn't study. Don't tell anyone. Who 
Ooh, seems like we have a new student. You're lucky, we're about to have a test. I hope you studied. A test, now? Why don't you talk to your classmates before the test? Let me know when you're ready. If I fail, do I die? He, I'm the best student in the entire library. My grades are perfect, just like me. You want me to give you a hint about the test questions? You should check the bookshelves in this room before you take the test. Will you let me copy your test? Yeah, sure. Thanks, you saved me. There's a book titled Little Red, Little Red Riding Hood, written by Charles something I can't pronounce. I probably could, but I butcher it. There's a book titled Red Shoes by Hans Christian Andersen. That name I do know how to pronounce with confidence. This has my name, of course. There's a book titled The Velveteen Rabbit, written by Marjorie Williams. There's a book titled The Ugly Duck, Ugly Duckling, written by Hans Christian Andersen. Is it pronounced like Paro? All right. All right, I'm good to go. I can also just use chat to cheat. <laughs> Are you ready for the test? First question. Which one was written by the Marjorie Williams, the Velveteen Rabbit? Who wrote Little Red Riding Hood? Uh, Charles per uh, Perro. Which of the following wasn't written by Hans Christian Andersen? Pinocchio. You have finished the test. I know that one. Walt Disney wrote Pinocchio. You got 10 out of 10. Perfect score. I should clarify, I am joking. Because if I don't, someone will think I'm serious. You have no idea. Why don't you visit the chocolate house? A chocolate house sounds cool for like five minutes, and then you realize it'd probably be gross to like, be, like actually have it. <laughs> uh, let me save here. I can get the tulip, but don't I need something for the winter, or do I need nothing? Doors locked, you sweet key. There are cakes and things here. Do you want to press the switch? Okay. Alright. I think the order was on those paintings, but I ain't got time for that. Oh, I guess it's not. Hang on. All right, absolutely no downsides to a chocolate house. I can think of a few thousand. Let me go back. Okay. Chocolate, strawberry, pie, strawberry. Uh, whatever that is, and chocolate. Okay, chocolate, strawberry, pie, strawberry, that thing, chocolate. All right, I got this. I immediately forgot what it was, but that's okay, cause I'm go I still got this somehow anyway. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wing it. You know how it goes. All right, chocolate, strawberry, pie, and it was um this. There we go. There are cookies on the table. I love cookies. Some chocolate cookies. Chat, do you like cookies? I could go for some right now. Good job. All I did was remember, like, the, the, a pattern of six pictures. Not that impressive. Then I'll continue my training. I wish I had I could have, like, Moomin-shaped cookies. That'd be nice. Moomins are too wholesome. Oh, now I'm hungry. I don't know if you hear my stomach growling. <laughs> you guys don't hear any background noise, I hope. The dolls are everywhere. Did somebody stab this teddy bear? Oh my goodness gracious. That was just uncalled for. Don't stab the monkey toy. Let's go get the tulips. No background noise. Excellent. Take it. Fake tulips. 
All right. Now I'm perfectly safe. That's right, the bears are still in the painting. I'm okay. That's right. I will make a thousand saves. And let's go ahead and use the thing over here. What do I do with the cookies? I don't remember. Help the others. Was there somebody that wanted cookies? I don't remember. Somebody that wasn't me. Maybe something's changed if I look around. That seems to be a common thing in this game. The present, you're right. There was a hungry present. Uh, uh, where was he again? I think he was upstairs. Well, hang on, I want to see the doll room. Now that all the dolls are wandering around. Did something change in here? I'm alone. Where are the others? They left because they don't like you anymore. They're rude. Door's locked. I'm trying to remember. Ah, here it is. Don't worry, unless you want to find out. Alright, I have to manually use it. You want to give cookies? Yeah. What a good smell they give off. What, did you want something in return? Young people are very, uh, capricious? I don't know. Who cares? In exchange for these delicious cookies, I will give you some secret information. Do you see the fireplace next to me? If you search among the firewood, you'll find a hidden door. Fireplace, examine. My reward was not getting eaten. We found a little door inside the fireplace. This looks like winter. I sell matches. Do you want one? They only cost one coin. You can use them to warm up a cold night or to light up. You don't have any coins. Pretty white flower. Take it. Snowdrop. Okay, that solves everything. Um... One second. What am I doing? It's downstairs. All right, this section's going okay. Oh, uh, hang on. Okay, I had to actually interact there. I thought it would automatically do that because it was a staircase. Whatever. Anything over here? Someone has managed to open the door. Now I can leave and have my own adventures. Thank you for opening the door. That book was so eager to leave this room and encounter new places. Is there anything I can do for you? I want to thank you in this place. Do you know how I can return to my world? I do not know the answer, but I think there is someone who can help you. The Book of the Wizard of Oz. If you visit him, I am sure he will help you. You only need to walk the yellow brick road. The door that gives access to that road is closed, but I have the key to open it. If you answer my question correctly, I will recognize that you deserve the key. Which flower means tenderness? Uh, I don't know. That is incorrect. What is that? Painting of a snake. Okay, that's what it is. Painting of a fox. There's a book called The Little Prince written by some guy. It was one of, like, the the books from the Fairy Sisters. That is correct. I did not expect any less from you. You got a golden key. Excellent. Flowers have meanings? Yes, of course they do. Back in the day, all f we assigned a meaning to all flowers. Before the days of video games. That's meant to be the lo the rose from the Little Prince book. Okay. That teddy bear is up there, chat. You see it? First he was there. Then he was over there. And now he's up there. What is he plotting? 
Never offer yellow roses to someone you love. Yellow roses sound cool. I'd love that. It means treason? <laughs> Says who? Young girl with a glimmer of hope in her eyes advances across the yellow brick road. Will she succeed in leaving this world? Or will she perish trying? <laughs> Are you enjoying this wonderful library? Well, minus the five or seven things that want to murder me. Ah, uh, narrator, there's something I need to tell you. I met a black-haired boy before. Do you know who he is? Hmm, that is impossible. It must be your imagination. You are the only one who should be here. Anyway, I must leave. We will cross paths once again. <laughs> Although, this could be the last time we see each other. No, that's breaking my heart. Mushrooms. Scarecrow. Set of silver armor. Are you the book, the wizard, or are you the book Wizard of Oz? Are you the young Yaria? I've been looking forward to meeting you. Do you also know me? Why do all the books know me? Maybe it's because everyone hopes to be read by you someday. As you know, many of these books will never be read and will be forgotten. When a book is forgotten, it fades away. Someone so enthusiastic about books at your age, it is something admirable. Humans like you are those who give us hope and allow us to keep living. When a book is forgotten, it dies. Sorry, I must be blabbering. What is the reason for your visit? A red rose told me you could help me return to my world. I do not have the power to fulfill that wish, but I can help you in another way. Do you see the red box next to me? Open it and keep what is inside. I feel it can be useful to you. I wish you good luck on your adventure. Thank you. Books get forgotten and then they disappear. Man has never discovered the internet, that's for sure. Gold coin. Hey, he said there were many coins and I could have them all. Hmm. Alright, let's go back to that one dude that sells matches. Chat, chat, if a story gets forgotten, does it fade from existence? But if no one knows about it, does that mean it even exists? Whoa. If nobody reads my weird Sonic fanfiction from ten years ago, does that mean it finally gets deleted? That's the real question we should be asking. Nothing here. I don't actually remember where it was. Where was the dude that sold me stuff? I can't for the life of me remember. Where did I go for that to happen? Was it in here? No, it wasn't in there. It was down here. No, someone will bring it up in a video ten years later. That's the secret base. The fireplace, that's right. I forgot about that. Hmm. Bye. Thank you. It's the first time I've sold a box. Thank you. There's a book on the ground called The Little Match Girl. Goodbye. Alright then. So I'm not supposed to use it on the fireplace. I guess I use it to light up the dark room. Let's do that. That book just died. Did you see that? Crazy. Alright, let's go in here. The room is pitch black. Can't see anything. Strike a match. Bunnies! There are different versions of the same book, so even if we come from the same book, not all rabbits are the same. So many rabbits, I want to chat with all of them. Although if we all come from the same book, there won't be many things to talk about. Hey, wait. You're not a rabbit. Then what are you doing here? Show invitation. You received an invitation. How strange. The bookshelf is full of different versions of Alice's 
Adventures in Wonderland, listened by, written by Lewis Car Carroll. Carroll? Carroll? Whatever. Different versions. I've managed to arrive on time to the party. All rabbits from Alice's Adventures in Wonderland's books received an invitation for the big party, but it seems it hasn't started yet. What are you doing here? You don't look like a rabbit. Oh, maybe it was a mistake. Alice always chases the rabbit. Arya, why don't we change the story a bit? That's a bunny rabbit. I blew up my match. The fire blew out. I gotta get out of here. Oh, I died. Was I supposed to start holding down? I was kind of waiting for like... <laughs> I thought it would let me see again for some reason. All the way to the top? I wonder why they invited you. And the more of there there are, the more fun it'll be. Alright. Okay, now I can sort of see the, the lit up eyes. Oh, it's still coming. Alright. I like how the part where the rabbit could keep moving. While, um... <laughs> while the text box was there. I'm not sure where I need to run. All right. Run, evil bunnies. Okay, that's open. There were more bunnies there, chat. Y you're the boy from before. Thank you so much for saving me. That rabbit was chasing me. I didn't know what to do. Uh, I knew you were a good person. No, I was aiming at you. <laughs> you're trapped in here too, aren't you? Why don't we go together? My hand wasn't in this state. I could have hit the right target. Oh, it was the perfect opportunity. It'll be safer if we went together, I think. Hmm. All right, I'll go with you. I'm sure both of us can find a way out. If I go with her, I'll surely find another opportunity. Surely, he says. Just take out the knife and stab. What's your name? My name is Arya. Lewin. <gasps> Lewin? Is there something wrong? Oh, it's nothing. Nice to meet you, Lewin. Nice to meet you, too. It's better if we keep moving. That thing could move at any moment. Lewin has joined the party. Are you an idiot? Don't get close to that. Sorry. What if I get close to it? Alright. I thought maybe it would move. We've reached the end of the fairy tale zone. Chapter 3. Romance. Oh, I've lost all the things I collected. Maybe you lost them while that thing was chasing you. That's your explanation. Uh, what's up here? There are many romance books on the shelf. The atmosphere, atmosphere changed. It must be a new area. Seems so. This reminds me. How did you end up in this library? I fell asleep when I woke up and I was here. That's pretty much what happened to me, too. Come on, Lewin. Maybe there's an exit over here and we can get back to our world. Let's keep looking. Many romance books on the shelf. Alright. The girl was no longer wandering alone through the library. A dark-haired boy was beside her. So it was true. There is someone else in this library. I must say I'm surprised. I didn't know about this. However, it is a pleasant surprise. A new character can contribute many things to a story. Don't you agree, Lewin? 
You know Lewin? Of course, what kind of narrator would I be if I didn't know the names of the characters? Duh. My name is Narrator. My duty is to narrate what happens to Arya. Narrate? My duty is to narrate what hap what Arya does, but should I also narrate what happens to you, or are you not important? It would be better if I consult him about it. She said weird things before leaving again. Do you know her? I barely know her. I saw her for the first time in this library. All I know is that she narrates everything I do. Narrate what you do? Why? I wish I knew. She usually doesn't answer my questions. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, standing here won't help us get out of here. <laughs> yep, you're right. An elegant fountain filled with crisp water. There are various special doors that are closed, but I can give you clues how to open them. Which one do you want to open? Eclipse? Eclipse can be opened when the sun and moon unite. Sun will be open when the moon disappears. Moon will be open when the stars appear. The Tree of Wisdom is thirsty. It is a shame that he only likes water. I would have offered him my cup of tea. The statue is so well made, it seems like it'll come to life at any moment. Are you sure it's a good idea to say that in the situation we're in? Um, let's see. Check these bookshelves. No. We can go down here. Time for another save. Now that is definitely right there. That's the painting from Witch's House. Well, I mean... We know what pain it really is, but you know what you know what I mean. Beautiful statue of a woman and a son. Um, what about up here? Door is locked. Nothing there. Nothing there. A bust. It feels like you're being watched. Yeah, I know. Like a lot of the RPG Maker stuff, like uh. Use assets from, like, some of the same resources. I'm not trying to... You know what I'm trying to say. Door is locked. Of course I know that. A painting of an apple. If you came here for my painting class, you'll have to come back later. Painting class? In a library? That's right. Some books have illustrations on their covers in their pages, right? Learning more about it allows us to know more about ourselves. I see, illustrations are also a part of books. Just like how comic books and manga are also books, right? A famous pink-haired girl once said, Manga is literature. There are many art books on the shelf. Hmm. You gotta go now, Dorkazoid? Alright, see you later. What's this? A book with an orange cover. A book with a yellow cover. Purple. Blue. Could you tell me which book I would get along with? I need to think about it. Uh, there's a note on the door. Sometimes opposites attract. Do you want to leave? Opposites attract? Well, what's the opposite of green? Look around. Right, that's locked. Yeah. Purple? Do you think so? The green book is talking. It seems like they don't click with each other. What a shame. I'm sorry. Do you want to leave? There's no red book, though. Alright. Oh. I just died because I'm a terrible matchmaker. Maybe I need to find a different book. 
let me try going back to this area. Look around a bit more. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, game just crashed <laughs> when I opened the menu. Oh, that's cool. Hang on. Can you see it again? Hang on. Good thing I've been saving. Game said no failed romance. Alright. I don't know what happened there. What's this? Tree of Wisdom. Look, Lewin, there's books sprouting from it. Well, books exist thanks to trees. Then we could say that books are born from trees. Yeah, I think that's the idea this tree represents. You know, paper is born from trees. Humans write books. The tree didn't write anything. Door is locked. Okay, let's look in here then. Guess I better save more often, huh? Woman in the moon. Hmm. Statue blocks the door. Many romance books. Alright. There are many romance books on the shelf. There's a book called Fashion and Colors. Have you ever thought about using complementary colors in your outfit? Complementary colors are colors that have opposite positions in the chromatic circle. Because there's colors are because these colors are opposites, they produce the strongest contrast compared to other colors. These colors are yellow and purple, red and green, blue and orange. Ah yes. Wario and Waluigi, Mario and Luigi, and Sonic and Tails. Wearing the combination of colors in your outfit may seem risky, but when done correctly, you can get interesting results. Don't read. Alright, so I need to pair it with orange. Or no, sorry, green goes with red. But I need to find a red book somewhere, is what I meant to say. So, showcase is covered in blood. Blood. That's not good. Door is locked. Remember, chat, it's an easy way to remember complementary colors. Because video game pairs are designed with those. I always have trouble reaching the books on the bookshelves. I wish I was taller. You understand how I feel, right? Yeah, I do. Hey, are you saying I'm short? Don't worry, being short has some advantages. We can reach books that are closer to the floor. Alright. Well, nothing else to really do but go back now. Um... I don't have anything. The heck do I do? I don't have a red book, so, hmm, I must have missed a room around here, hang on. Door's locked. Oh, you're just, alright, you're just gone. What are you doing? Books don't deserve to be covered in dust, so I'm cleaning the dust off the bookshelves. We shouldn't waste time on this. Many romance books. There are many romance books. In here... There's a wooden bucket. We got a wooden bucket. There are many romance books. There's a book called Cinderella, written by Charles Perrault. I've already, already forgot. Someone posted it in chat and I already forgot. Perrault? The page of the book is marked. And when the clock strikes 12, the spell will be broken. All right, then.
Save again. Save a thousand times. Violin is playing a song. I want to learn how to play the violin, but I don't have any hands. Clock doesn't have hands. Oh. Well, I guess I use the, the bucket to bring water to the tree, then. That's something I can do for now. I should save again. That book can juggle. Yeah, that book probably could play the violin. But I don't make the rules. Are there many romance books? Okay, nothing there. Maybe a red book will fall from that tree. I think I saw a red book on there. Oh, hang on. Yes, you filled it with water. Tree of Wisdom. Do you want to offer the wooden bucket to the tree? Let me just fix these headphones here. A book has fallen from the tree. Do you want to take it? Red book. Uh, quick question. How many chapters are in this game? I'm not sure how close I am to the end of it by now. Um, yeah, let's go give the red book to the dude. down here. Gotta find a friend for him. Do you want to show the red book? Do you think this book will be a good match for me? Yes. The book is talking about, or talking about the red book. It seems like they clicked. There's a note that says, well done. Y yes, let's leave. What was that? Key on the floor. Rainbow key. Where's a rainbow key take me? The sun? Sun makes rainbow after rain. Very colorful key. Um, Hang on, I guess I'll just look around over here. There were locked doors I haven't opened. All right, it's just here. Why does blue look different? There is a message written on this box. I have no clue. Nothing happened. Just tell me answer. Ba -ba -ba. There are many romance books on the shelf. There are many romance books on the shelf. Oh, just the mirror there. No jump scare. There's a clock on the other shelf here. There's a clock on the wall. Seems it doesn't work. Although its hands are shiny. Do you want to take the hands off the clock? Take them. Tame hands of the clock. All right. Mirror has been broken. Aria. Box had been opened. There's an apple inside. You got an apple. And I think that's for the people doing their little painting class. Which was in here, I believe. It came. It's come back later. Did you place a new apple? Thank you. The previous apple rotted and I couldn't find a new one, so I had to cancel my painting classes. Are you interested in painting? I'll give you this so you can practice. Black paint. Thank you. All right. Now, what do I do with painting? No, the code was not for 2069. I promise you it wasn't. Now, I know what I have to do with the hands of the clock. I'm just going to go back over the other way. Hey, that fell over. Bust is broken. Can't, like, do anything with this.
Hang on. No, 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 this is the wrong place. Um, it was up top. For here? Yeah, down this long hallway. And up and around this way. I probably should save the game. And what do we have next here? Do you want to place them? It's too high. I can't reach. Lewin, get on my shoulders. Teamwork. No, just use a chair or stool. Okay. <laughs> Which direction do you want to place the hands? Um. I don't know. East? Nothing happened. Oops. Oh, north is in midnight. Okay. I thought it was like it wanted me to pick like the first hand or something. I guess that makes sense. Everyone turned into pumpkins. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. What happened? <laughs> He's confused. Beautiful glass slipper. Chat, you ever think about like how uncomfortable it would be to walk around in footwear made of glass? You just, like, do a slight jump on concrete. <laughs> you are not going to have a fun day. There we go. Now it's over here. So what did that really do, though? A pumpkin. I made it. Oh, hello. <laughs> I'm delighted to see you both here. What do you think about your stay in this library? Don't you narrate what we're doing. I do not know if I should narrate what happens to Lewin, so I prefer not to do it. I was going to consult him about it, but I wanted to read some books and entertain myself a little. Unfortunately, I'd forgotten that I cannot read books. A real shame. You can't read? Don't worry, Lewin and I will te Lewin and I will teach you how to read. We don't have time for that. I guess you're right. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Oh, I see. I think this is a misunderstanding. You do not need to teach me how to read. I know how to do it. And why can't you read? I cannot answer your question. I am a narrator. I should not tell you things about myself. Also, you should not waste your time with me. I'm sure you have more important things to do. Ugh. Then like a yawn I had to get out of my system. Okay. So I guess the moon door is open because I made it midnight. In my opinion, ballet is one of the most elegant dances. Odette, the white swan. Odile, the black swan. Oh, I know what to do here. Has this painting always been like this? I thought there was a moon before. Picture of the moon has disappeared and the key has taken its place. Okay, now the stars are out. Is this water on the floor? Anything else here? In my opinion, ballet is one of the most elegant dances. Alright, looks good so far. Let's go back. I think I'm done here now. Or am I? There's still a locked door down there. Lunar key. Alright. Back in here. All the dresses are still there. Alright, let's open it up. There are many romance books. There's one called Secret Code. Read. A long time ago, it was common for lovers to exchange their thoughts with a secret code that only they knew. This allowed them to be able to communicate freely without fear of anyone discovering their true feelings. There are many other variations, but the most common one was to use symbols or numbers to replace the letters. See picture. Alright, chat. Take a quick look. Take a quick look or screenshot. And we're gonna go ahead and enjoy. Because you're gonna solve this for me, right? I'll read. 
This dress wasn't here before. There are many romance books. Hmm. Okay. What does that mean, though? The, um... Okay, the key is still there, but what do I do with, um... I guess I'll go back this way. So I have a decoder, but I don't know where the code is. I don't remember anything like that. Tree of Wisdom is thirsty. I already did that. Hang on, was there anything else down there? No, that statue's the same. Very gorgeous statue. Okay, then. I think it was the code for the lockbox I already opened. Oh, you're right. Probably was. Now this is open. Could you tell me who the most beautiful statue in this room is? Be careful. Despite their appearance, they're all liars. No. I'm gonna go save first. They're color-coded, so let's do this. Now let's go. What did I get from doing that puzzle? I don't even remember. I am the most beautiful statue. The blue statue is most beautiful. Who is the most beautiful statue? Be careful, they're all liars. All of- so all of them are liars, so... We're gonna just deduce it from that. Green statue is the most beautiful, that is the truth. Okay, it's not green. I am the most beautiful, trust me, I'm not a liar. And that means you're a liar. Okay, green? Orange have been removed. Is the purple one? Alright, it's not purple. Green, orange, purple. Orange statue and yellow statue tell the truth. No, you're all liars. So, you, what you say is irrelevant. Green, orange, purple. Blue statue is beautiful. Alright, that means it's between yellow and red. I'm the most beautiful. Alright, it's yellow. Oh. Oh, okay, good. I was about to say. Now I'm the most beautiful statue. I thought I died. Statue's laughing. Statue's laughing. why they do that? Your picture of the sun has disappeared and the key has appeared. Solar key. There's something shining inside my pocket. The lunar key and solar key are fused together. You have the eclipse key. Statue's laughing. Hang on. I thought the picture was different for a second. Door is locked. Use Eclipse key. Can I ask you something? Mm hmm? Mm -hmm. What happened to your hand? It's bandage. Does it hurt? This, it's not important. Even if it's not important, I'd like to know about it. <sighs> I guess I'll keep asking until I tell you. Fine, I'll tell you. All right, then. Story. I know that I probably don't look like it, but I'm actually a writer. A writer? Don't be so excited. I'm not famous. It doesn't matter. I admire every writer. They're the creators of books I love so much. I never thought I'd meet a writer. <sighs> I already told you not to be excited. Don't make a big deal out of it. As I was saying... I was writing a book, but I couldn't think of a good ending. No matter what I wrote, it wasn't the ending I was looking for. I was so obsessed with that book that I neglected my health. I forced my hand too much, and I ended up having to wear this bandage. I won't be able to write anymore until my hand recovers. Oh, this man needs to learn about, like, um, speech to text. Maybe you can think of a good ending while you recover. But I hope you won't do the same thing when you recover. 
You shouldn't neglect your health. This man sounds like me when I make videos. I know, I won't do it again. Can I ask when you started writing books? Since I was very young, but I was a kid. Nobody wants to read a book written by some kid. I'd read them. What did you say? I'd read your books. And I'm not saying it to make you feel better. I mean it. Yeah, I know. You smiled. I thought you couldn't do it. Huh. That was your imagination. <laughs> Wait, don't leave me alone here. That little pout face. My name's Lewin. I want to kill you. Now let me not kill you. Alright, so we made it here. Now let's take a look around, chat. Moomin thinks this story is very wholesome. Except I am covering the plushie's eyes whenever uh, death happens. Just imagine that. What are you looking at? Humans like you don't deserve to observe my beauty. What are you going to do about it, book? Quill. There we are. Letter on the floor. You've obtained a love letter. Ooh, hey, that letter is mine. You can't take it. Oh, sorry, I didn't know it was yours. Mm, could you deliver it for me? I'm too embarrassed to do it. Who should I deliver it to? To the most lovely, elegant, and pretty book that exists. Could you be more specific? No, it's too embarrassing. This is the best area in the entire library. It's as elegant as a mansion. I'm sure the books from the other areas are jealous. Alright, hang on. Who should I deliver to? The most lovely, elegant, and pretty book. That one's elegant. This one was... Lovely. Alright. Let's keep looking around, then. Is there anything I can help you with? You can read any book you want here. Have a nice day. Nothing there, nothing there. What kind of books do you like? I like almost all genres, but my favorites are mystery and tragedy. My favorites are adventure and fantasy. I like traveling to another world. Oh, wait till this girl discovers the isekai genre. Then she'll hate it forever. There are many romance books on the bookshelf. There are many romance books on the bookshelf. Romance books on the bookshelf. Um... Take a look in here. There are several objects reflected in the mirror. So what? Hey, hang on, something ain't right there. That doll is huge. Even a doll is taller than us. <laughs> the doll there. Maybe I should actually check the love letter. No, I can't check it. Um, alright. I need to move- oops. I moved it the wrong way. Oops. Alright, here we go. And now the plant. Wait, no, 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 no. Hang on. I got this wrong. Lamp needs to be behind the couch. That's a cool puzzle. And plant is also behind the couch. Wait, there's flowers in front of uh, the couch there. Um, hang on a second. Move that there. Alright, what do we got here? There's a mirror on the floor. Take it. Mirror. I can't remember the last time I really looked at an isekai thing. It feels so... done to death at this point. Mirror. Small mirror. Um... At this point, it's now a contest of who can put the best anime girls on the covers, I guess. The titles just keep getting more and more ridiculous. Doors locked. Hmm. What about me here? What is this? There are various books inside. Various books inside. Various books. 
statue of a book. Oh, ho, ho, I'm so pretty that I should be part of this exhibition. I'm a work of art. I shouldn't be considered a work of art. It would be better if they broke me into pieces. That's not true. You're a very beautiful statue. Don't lie, I'm a horrible statue. Compliment. Please don't lie. She won't believe you unless she sees the truth with her own eyes. Do you want to give the mirror to the statue? This is me? What a surprise! I don't look as bad as I thought. Now I can proudly say that I'm a work of art. Now I can proudly say I'm a work of art. Alright, did anything change here, though? Alright. I'm not sure what that did. Maybe if I leave, something will be different. Um, okay. Where did I see that, though? There's a book on the table called The Four Types of Love. I guess I can't read it. Hold up. There's a switch. Press it. Whoa! Look at that, chat! The books are moving. One of these days, chat, I tell ya, I'm just gonna have my own, like, secret room somewhere, and it's gonna be hidden behind a huge bookshelf. And when I go in there, it's just gonna be another room with, like, a couch, a TV, snacks, and just video games, and it'd be awesome. Tiny book on the table. Um, take it. Obtain tiny book. Oh, they're trying to kill me. Oh, I better get out of here. I have actually seen, a, like, a real-life secret room before. Hang on. You've never seen such a small book before. It was more like a secret passage. Um, it was like in this house I visited once. Like, a sort of a farmhouse. And it was two stories, two stories tall. And on the first and second floor, there were bookshelves, and you could move the bookshelf, and there was, like, a hidden staircase that would lead to the other. And it was really cool. Really, really cool. And it's like, man, that's so unnecessary, but I want that in my- I want to have a house with that. Self-love. All right. Oh, I think I know what to do. I have to, like, light up all of these, and then give the note to this. Self-love was activated because I used the mirror there. Now, what do I do with this tiny book? Let's look around. Obviously, if I get the letter to those other books, it won't work. Where is my son? He should be in his crib. Well, mystery solved. My beloved son. There you are. I'm glad you're fine. I was very worried. My beloved son, where's my reward? Oh, I didn't mean to press that. I already read that book. Really? What did you think about it? The writer did a good job. It's a shame the book isn't very well known. That's true. I'd like to talk with more people about this book. I know this isn't like uh, a sequel. It's more like um, a 2.0 update with more content. But I have to, uh, it can sound like it's a sequel when I use words like 2.0, but that's literally what that, whatever, what it's called, so that's the only way I can really distinguish it. Doors locked. Alright then. No, 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 I think I'm, I'm understanding this incorrectly. I need to save. I think giving the note to someone is how I activate one of those flames, not the other way around. So I'm just gonna trial and error it. I'll probably die, but whatever. What's this, a letter? I'm gonna read it. What a waste of time. I'm not interested in that pathetic book. That's mean. Oh, what? Unrequited love. Oh. Oh! I'm pathetic. <laughs> pathetic. Oh, that's awful. Wait. Why is there a big arrow there? Looks really out of place and layered wrong. What are you looking at? Humans like you don't deserve to deserve my beauty. Uh, 
Hang on, I did this before. There are several objects in the mirror. Door is locked. I have a bad feeling. Why are you leaving? Oh, that's right. You're not on the couch this time. Don't you want to stay with me for a while? Not particularly. Why does everyone want to leave? I don't want to be left alone. I want to be with you. This doll feels very hostile. We can't stay here. Try to force the door open and run away. I'll take care of it. Then I'll find you. But... Uh. What are you doing standing there? Go away. Leave. Trust me. Uh, yo-yo? Is this an ending thing, or does it not matter? I'm pretty sure it doesn't. No, I'll stay here with you. I won't run away. Don't be stupid. You can't do anything. Run. But... Oh, it's just death. It's just death. Okay, now I have to give the letter. I'll try giving the letter to someone else, see if it makes a difference. Hmm. Do you want to give the love letter? What's this, a letter? What a waste of time, not interested in that pathetic book. And there we go. You just saw the arrow pop into existence. You could have foreseen such a tragedy. What are you doing standing there? Go. Run away. Please be careful. I trust you. Run for it. There's a correct book to give the letter to, and then the unrequited love would be romantic instead. Okay. Well, it's faster just to embarrass him. Who cares about a book's romance? Ari, are you there? It's me, Lewin. Oh, he's already go He's already done? Are you okay? What happened? I'm fine. You don't need to worry about me. There's no problem anymore. I'm sorry I wasn't very helpful. Don't worry, you couldn't do anything. It would have been worse if you stayed. Thank you for saving me again. Huh? Save you? Oh, what am I doing? That's the opposite of what I should do. Did you say something? No, I didn't say anything. I could reload and do it correctly, but I don't want to. You can't make me. Don't open that door. Don't open that door. You can't tell me what to do. And looks like it's done. Just, yeah, I figured we were going to see another one of these scenes. What does this mean? Aww. Scary. You seem angry with me. I just saw Lewin. What is he doing here? It was hard for me to hide how surprised I was. You didn't tell me about this. How many secrets are you keeping from me? Please calm down. You're asking me to calm down. I'm still helping you, but you keep hiding things from me. Just think about how that makes me feel. I understand, but... You don't understand a thing. This place is dangerous. Lewin shouldn't be here. This library is safe. Doesn't seem safe to me. Arya is the only target of the library. Lewin will be safe. The library knows that if Arya reaches the end, it will disappear. That's why it's trying to prevent her from advancing. It wants to survive. And you're okay with that. You're putting an innocent girl in danger. No matter what happens, she won't die. If anything goes wrong, I'll just have to try it again. Besides, <laughs> fear shows us the true nature of a person, don't you think? I don't understand what you're saying. You'll understand it later. Are you trying to sound interesting by using cryptic sentences? Let me tell you, you're getting the opposite effect. <laughs> I feel so tempted to strangle you so that you'll tell me everything you know, she says with a little smile on her face. Don't be so mean with me. At least you should tell me why Lewin is here. Is he part of the plan? Yes, Lewin is quite important. Actually, I came up with the plan thanks to him. Does that mean he also knows Arya? Maybe. Why am I the only one who doesn't know her? Who's that girl? <laughs> She's a donut lover. I'm getting tired of this. Please be patient, I'll tell you later. If I tell you now, the plan could be ruined. I know, I trust you. But I can't help feeling this way. 
Do you also want me to tell you what Lewin does? It's not necessary. Only if it's something related to Arya. I see. I'll tell you later. Er, I'll see you later. Wait. Thank you. I know I'm making things more difficult for you. I think you have it worse than me. Am I wrong? Huh? I know you're suffering a lot. You can't hide your agony with a smile. That's why I'm helping you, even if I don't know what's happening. I just want you to know that you don't need to do this all alone. That's why I would like you to tell me the truth. That's all. I should go now. All right. Huge statue of wings. This statue is called Air. What a coincidence. That's what my name means, too. I don't think it's a coincidence. You are the center of attention in this place. The books talk about you, and there's something, someone narrating what you do. I think this statue represents you. Really? It seems kind of excessive. I'm not that important of a person. I don't deserve a statue. Oh, maybe there's also a statue that represents you. I doubt it. I already told you that you're the center of attention in this place. <laughs> then I'll design one for you. That's not necessary. What could your statue be? I'm out of ideas. <sighs> Are you listening to me? What does your name mean? Maybe that'll give me an idea. Huh? My name? My name means... What's wrong? You don't know what it means. Huh? Eh? Y yeah, that's it. Oh, that's a shame. Doesn't matter. We got more important things to worry about. All right. Uh, make a save now. And let's have a little look around. Big and elegant bed. Ow! Yo, what? Game over. Dead. This time, let's walk the other way. There are many romance books. Romance books. All right, nothing I can do there for now, I guess. Sleeping Beauty, yeah, I know. There are many interesting books here. Yeah, some of them are hard to find in normal libraries. I recommend this book. I can't read it. I don't understand this language. Oh, it's a shame they didn't translate it. I'm learning new languages so I can read more books. That's amazing. I'd like to learn a new language, too. Wholesome. Why is there a heartbeat noise here? Is there another save point around here? I've walked an awful lot around. What's this? Okay, moves the red one. But what am I supposed to move them to? Uh. There are many romance books on the shelf. The narrator's up there. I guess I, I need to move them to, like, make a path. I see. Um, hang on. And let's see now. Die, okay. Okay, that moves it there. Okay, that moves it down, good. Moves it up. Okay, I did that now. But I can't really do anything there yet. What's in here? Save again. 
Uh, we've been playing this for like two and a half hours. I didn't go over here, did I? Statue of a Mermaid, book called The Little Mermaid by Hans Christian Andersen. Oh. Fish. What happened? It seems that these fish escaped from the book. I hate when that happens. What? Oh no, they're gone. It's my fault. I shouldn't open the book. They're just fish. It doesn't matter. Don't say that. Every detail is important in a book, however small it may be. So you'll try to find it then. Yes. If I remember correctly, five fish escaped. I'm sure we'll find them. Alright then. If I remember correctly. Okay, now I gotta look for five fish around the place. That's cool. You captured a fish. I've been in here. Doors locked. Been up here. The bookshelf is decorated with roses. 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 Nothing there. And this is where this comes in handy. Captured a fish. Nice. Why don't you try walking above the bookshelves? You might find something interesting if you try. There's just a door over here. Lewin, you're shaking. That isn't true. Why won't you admit it? I know something's wrong with you. Don't be stubborn. If you don't tell me, I can't help you. You don't want to tell me? Okay, then I'll try and guess. Mm, let's see. Oh, it must be that. You're afraid of heights. That's why you were shaking while we were walking over the bookshelves. You're wrong. I think we'll have to cross that bridge made of bookshelves again anyway. You start shaking, my deduction will be correct. Damn it. He said a swear chat. Don't underestimate blah, don't underestimate my deduction skills. Excellent. Alright, let's just keep going. There's another secret room over here. These books seem interesting. A shame I don't have time to read them right now. Got a fish. There's a book called White and Black. Long ago, there were two kingdoms that lived in peace and harmony. The White Kingdom and the Black Kingdom. The princes of each kingdom were together since they were born. However, those happy days ended when a war raged between the two kingdoms and princesses had to be separated. The war seemed endless, and the streets of the two kingdoms were stained in a scar scarlet color. The princesses, now queens, tried to stop the absurd war their parents began, but failed. When they realized that the war would only end when one of the two kingdoms surrendered, they devised a plan together. The two went to the battlefield, each holding a silver knife. With those knives, they pierced each other's hearts. Scarlet roses bloomed from their hearts because of the love they felt for each other. The war finally ended. Um, what do you think about this book? Why do you ask? I was just curious. Doesn't matter. Forget I asked you that question. Alright. I think it's pretty wrong. Oh, hang on. Because flowers don't bloom from hearts. That just makes no sense, chat. Daddy, daddy, what was that? Isn't that the book we just read? Daddy. Huh? What, what? Daddy, wait, that means... Lewin, you wrote this book. No. Yes, it makes sense. For a book, its writer is like its parent. You're wrong. I'm not... Daddy? Oh, don't cry. Well, I knew it. You're the author of this book. Well, yes, I wrote it, but... Please, I want your autograph. Daddy. Huh? Oh, you're both so annoying. But, um... Glad to meet you. Now, return to your bookshelf and go back to sleep. Okay, Daddy. Baby book. Let's keep exploring. So, about that autograph. No. Can you... Oh, what's this? There's a knife on the floor. Well, that makes sense. It just appears. We get it. Now I can use it. Mm 
going by the look on your face, it seems I was right. You're afraid of heights. There's nothing to be ashamed of, Lewin. Everyone is afraid of something. For example, math terrifies me. Oh, that's pathetic. Oh, it's not pathetic. I must face it every day at school. It's terrible. No matter how many math books I read, I can't understand them. It's so frustrating. You should practice more. I'd rather spend my free time reading a fun book. Maybe that's the problem. <laughs> what was this room? Bookshelf decorated with... Right, I've been through here before. Have I found all the fish? No, I've only found three. Um... Yeah, I still gotta look around. There's another one. Could be in this room. Nothing here. Fish isn't around here. The music just stopped, and it's only playing the heartbeat sound heartbeat sound effect now. I'm concerned. What did I do? Oh, what's this? I've heard some strange noises coming from the room, but I don't want to enter. Oh, now the music starts up again. Oh! Wait. Oh, I get it. I have to put the, the white queen and the black queen in the center. Where all the blood is. End the story. Most powerful due to the range of movements it can perform. Ugh. Huge chest piece? Well, I can't push it. They're against the wall. Can I leave? Do you like chess? Yeah, it's one of my favorite games. Really, I love it too. Let's play together one day. Heh, I accept your challenge. Um... Yeah, I can't move anything here, so I don't think I can actually do this at the moment. I have all the fish, so let's do that for now. I'm just gonna go back down here. Buy a fish escaped. Oh, right. I got a knife. Why did I do that? Okay, I just have to stab the queens. Um, um, I understand. They want me to stab the queens, but the story said they met at the center of the battlefield, so I assumed I needed to push them there first. That's what I was thinking. Alright, I'll go back and stab them. Don't worry, chat. I promise you, I will go back and murder those those two thing, two people. Uh, Statue of Mermaid. Um, I put that away, but what did it do? <laughs> ah, that's what it did. I think she wants to give us something. You got a silver knife. Oh, I need both of them. I hope you can use it. Couldn't do it myself. Alright, so I wasn't able to complete the puzzle anyway. You want to stab it? Yes. I think I understand what you're trying to do. Give me the other knife. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's do this. We ended the story. All right, chat. Open your eyes. Uh, happy ending. Now we're in the middle of the battlefield. I pushed them with my mind. What happened? Ugh. I don't know. I also closed my eyes when I used the knife. The atmosphere seems more pleasant. He 
huge chess piece. Yeah, Lewin said he likes tragedy, so they both had to die at the end of the story. Got no item from that. Um, uh, what's this? A quill? It's really pretty. How strange. It's warm, but it's cold at the same time. Aria. Aria, can you hear me? Yeah, what? A dream? We fell asleep. You too? Yeah, I just woke up. Hmm, I think we fell asleep because of this room. We should get out of here. Yeah. Now there's a door here. Let's just keep going. It does not feel like it's been like two and a half hours at all. Lumen, look at that. The view is beautiful. Teleported back there. She's distracted. This is the opportunity I've been waiting for. Oh, please. She's been distracted by several things. It's time to end this. But why am I shaking? I can't hesitate now. I have to do it. Lewin? Uh, can I tell you something? Huh? Huh? Do you remember what you told me before? When you told me you were a writer? I think we're a lot like each other. What do you mean? Pay attention. I'm gonna tell you a story. Years ago, there was a little girl who loved reading, but no one her age shared her hobby. Other kids thought it was something boring, and they laughed at her for having such a strange hobby. The girl respected and understood that they didn't share her love for books, but she couldn't help feeling sad. Her parents, who wanted to keep her happiness from disappearing, took her to a library for the first time. Her eyes lit up when she saw so many books and so many other people of all ages who shared her hobby. Ever since, she visited the library every day, and she grew up surrounded by books and happiness. How wholesome. Why are you telling me this? You told me your past, so I thought it would be fair if I told you mine. <laughs> Let's be friends. Huh? Friends? It doesn't matter if no one wants to read your books. I'll read them, and I'll tell you what I think. I'm sure that if you don't give up, you'll be a famous writer. Stop. Please stop. Huh? You're making everything more complicated. Stop worrying about me. I don't want you to get involved in my affairs. Uh. Lewin. All right, he ran off. He still had the knife. Are you mad at me? No, it's my fault. Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. It's okay, don't worry. All right. Here we go. Whoops. Okay, now seems like a good spot for me to take a little break here. So I'll do just that. I don't know how much more of the game is left, but uh, I'm a little tiny bit hungry, and I just want to use the washroom and all that. So I will BRB right now, chat. Be right back. And if the YouTube, this does get broken up to two parts. This is where it ends for you. Have a good night. Bye-bye.